Hey guys, welcome back to King Owls. Katie Taylor absolutely, in my opinion, dominated Chantal Cameron to become a two-way champion. Like, great stuff from Katie Taylor in that one, winning that rematch. Like, I honestly, if you told me after watching that first fight that Katie Taylor would go on and, you know, win in the way she did, no, I would not have believed you. But, in my opinion, Taylor dominated in that fight and won fairly clearly. I see some people screaming, that's a robbery. No. It's, it's not a robbery. I find it disgraceful how one of the judges added 95 to 95. I think it was clearer than 96 to 94 that one of the judges had. I, I honest, honestly, I feel like Taylor won the majority of those rounds. 100%. Cameron, I think, I thought looked slow whenever she threw out that right hand. Yeah, she was landing the jab a bit, like, in, in those early rounds. Um, but, like, I feel like, in my opinion... Taylor was good at being able to shut down that jab. I know I've seen loads of people complaining about the clinching from Taylor. Yes, there was a lot of that. But she was shutting down the jab well and Cameron was hardly able to... She, she, Cameron wasn't really able to throw. Taylor was landing... Uh, Taylor was throwing more and she was landing more than Cameron was. Simple as that. 100%. I feel like in the clinches, Cameron wasn't able to be as strong as she was in that first fight. Cameron didn't win that fight. Cameron thought she won. I see a load of, you know, English people as well. Like, as a fellow English and someone who actually wanted Cameron to win the fight, I thought that Taylor dominated that fight and won the majority of those rounds. 100%. I feel like she was quick in and out. Taylor was definitely a lot better at using her footwork than Cameron was. Cameron wasn't using her footwork well at all. She, she was not. The footwork from Cameron was not there. Yes, the jab was. Taylor was clinching a lot to get rid of that. And, you know, Taylor was moving around a lot better than Cameron was as well. Cameron was just kind of rooted to centre ring a lot of the time. Uh, I mean, and, and Taylor was boxing well off the back foot. She was there, landing combinations in and out. And Taylor was always getting the better of literally all of those exchanges that they had. Taylor was getting the better of the exchanges. I don't really see how you can have Cameron winning that fight. It makes zero sense to me. People saying Cameron got robbed. No, she didn't. Okay, right. I would say this. In that first round, Cameron, Cameron won the first round. But she, Cameron, yes, she should have had a knockdown in that first round. I don't understand how that, uh, how that jab from Cameron, which Cameron landed in that first round, was not awarded a knockdown. Cameron should have had a knockdown in that first round. Apart from that, Taylor dominated the fight. And was, I, I, I was winning. Like, she was, you know, getting in and out of there quick. Every time, a, a lot of the time Cameron threw, she was out of range with that jab. It's not, especially when, no, nah, to be fair, when Cameron threw out that right hand, she was literally always out of range. With the jab, yes, actually, to be fair, that was landing a bit. But whenever, Cameron couldn't get that left hand, she couldn't get her right hand going. Cameron's right hand was literally never landing on Taylor. Taylor was doing well, good shots in and out, moving around with the footwork. Same again. Up close, Taylor was always getting the better of her. She 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 was when they were up close. Up close is what is the fight where Taylor wants it to be and needs it to be. Cameron lost that fight because she wanted to slug it out with Taylor. Cameron was not boxing like she was. She was not boxing. She was not moving like she was in that first fight. That's why she lost. Because she literally played into Taylor's game, which is making it a dogfight. If you go into a dogfight with Katie Taylor, you're most likely to lose that fight. 100% you are. The, the game plan, in my opinion, wasn't right from Cameron. She was not boxing. She was not moving and she was not boxing well. She wanted to be like, she wanted it to be a dogfight to me. Her movement was nowhere near the same as it was in that first fight. Taylor's movement was way better than it was. She was a lot quicker than she was in that first fight. And that's why she won. Because she was in and out of there quick. She, I, I feel like Cameron didn't use her strength enough on Taylor. I I honestly don't see how you can have Cameron winning that fight. I feel like 95 to 95 is a disgrace. I honestly feel like a draw is a disgrace. I even feel like 96, 94 is too close. I feel like Taylor won by... By a real good margin, to be fair. I feel like Taylor actually dominated and won the majority of the round. Because she was just too quick for Cameron. And Cameron was not able to get her... She was not able to get the rhythm on her. People saying, oh yeah, there were so many headbutts and too much clinches. The headbutts were... It was just an unfortunate clash of heads. Clinches, yes, there was quite a few. Definitely. Um, but I feel like, you know, that's... 
how you're going to shut down the jab, though. I feel like people are overreacting a little bit by saying robbery and all that. It wasn't. Taylor clearly won. What I, I don't get it. How I don't get how you can actually score that fight to to Cameron. I honestly don't. I honestly don't see how you can have Chantal Cameron winning that fight on your on your scorecard. You. I just don't think you can. Honestly, I feel like Cameron should have had a knockdown. I'll give that to her. Apart from that, she got dominated in the rest of that fight. 100%. She was too slow, in my opinion. I don't know where the movement went from her. I mean, yes, there was a lot of clinching, which, you know, kind of got in the way of that. Should Taylor had a few deducted points? I mean, I don't know. Possibly, yes. But I still don't think that would have affected the result. And I still think Taylor won the majority of those rounds either way, though. She was quick in and out of there, going to the body well, doing her thing. And, you know, putting her shots together well. Taylor was landing way more than Cameron was. 100% of Taylor was landing way more than Chantal Cameron was throughout the throughout that fight. Cameron hardly landed. Yes, there, Taylor was clinching a, uh, quite a lot. But still, though, Cameron didn't land enough, in my opinion. Taylor was landing way more and throwing more. I feel like Cameron throughout that fight was trying to look for that one-punch knockout, not wanting to box like she was the first fight. Cameron fought a completely different fight to how she did in that first fight, which I don't understand. But no, like, you've got to give respect to Katie Taylor. You can't go screaming robbery because it 100% wasn't a robbery. Katie Taylor won that fight. She won that fight. It, uh, it's obvious to see, in my opinion. It really is. Stop screaming robbery. You can't have Cameron winning that fight. Impossible, in my opinion, to have that happening. I'll probably have to watch it back and see. But no, I don't think my opinion would change too much. Taylor dominated that fight. Yes, there were some close rounds in there. But no, Taylor won that fight, man. She won that fight. Don't take away that moment. And I even wanted Cameron to win. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Okay, I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.